Welcome back to the channel. Well, as you can see here, I got my uh, snowblower up and lift and I, I went out to start it to make sure it works great. And uh, guess what happened? Bang! This thing just snapped like a pretzel. I mean, for something that's uh, from 1994, well, you could expect it, right? So what am I going to do? Well, I went online and see how much one of these uh, snowblower uh, pull cord handles are. 20 bucks. I said, uh-uh, I don't think so. Uh, plan B, we're going to use a shovel. Well, this is what we're going with, a shovel handle. I mean, uh, it's going to work, right? So we just get the shovel handle here, and uh, we're just going to drill a little hole in there. So we'll just feed it in there. There we go. That wasn't too bad, right? And then we're going to take one washer. And then we're going to take another washer. Now that's just so that it doesn't pull through, right? And let's just uh, put that in there. Okay, now we're going to make one of these fancy knots where the tighter it pulls, let's see if I can show this here. The tighter it pulls, the tighter the knot's going to get. So there's a knot there. Here's the two washers on there. There it is right there. Let's see what it looks like on the blower. Okay, is that slick or what? And it just fits right over top of this collar. I mean, is that, that's, that's awesome as far as I'm concerned. So I mean, there it is there. I think it's fantastic. Now, the best part would be if this uh, snowblower would actually uh, run properly now. Uh, I did get it started and it will only run with the choke on. So, you know, the carb is pretty plugged up. I don't know what I'm going to do, whether I'm going to put a new carb on or clean it. Stay tuned. I think I'll be working on that next. If you haven't seen this channel before, you're welcome to subscribe. Come back again and see some interesting things you may not see somewhere else. Cheers.